Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Pictures so perfect we play Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next Legal team opened their defense against the case made by His Excellency Peter Obi. And they produced a witness who was cross-examined by the Labour Party lead counsel, Livy Ozoku. And it was very, very terrible for Tinubu's witness. This man ended up giving Tinubu away in some occasions without even being asked. And that is why I said witnesses are running away from being cross-examined by Labour Party lawyers. Because the lawyers are just too brilliant. Need I say that after yesterday... INEC was completely destroyed. If we are to revisit INEC case again, it is for the Labour Party legal team to come and bury them. They don't already finish them. It has been completely established that INEC did not comply with the constitution or the electoral law in presidential election we then do. So we just they wait, make the judges talk. Uh, we, we don't already know. Now, today, Tinubu's legal team opened their own defense and it all started with tinubu's lawyer stepping forward and he began to present documents documents after documents tendering documents to the judges and when he was done tendering those documents he said my lord i would have proceeded to call our witnesses but my other colleagues are outside imagine why he was presenting documents to the presiding judge his other colleagues were outside is this not a sign of confusion? Is this not a sign of defeat? Even them, they don't believe in waiting that they do. They know sin and lie, lie that they stand for. That's why they are all over the place. And then he had to request for a break so that they will organize themselves again. And then the presiding judge granted them 10 minutes break. He said, let's take a recess. Now, after the recess, the court reconvened and Tinubu's lawyer stepped forward again. And this time around, they called their witness, Senator Michael Okoyemi Bamidele, a senator who is serving currently. And in fact, he is the Senate Majority Leader. <laughs> and then they adopted his witness statements, including the ECOWAS report on the presidential election. Don't forget this line, the ECOWAS report. Now, Tinubu witness, now he bring the ECOWAS report and it was adopted in evidence. Now, after INEC, APC and Tinubu's lawyers were done with the witness, it was time for the Labour Party lead counsel, Livy Ozoku, to cross-examine Tinubu's witness and he stepped forward and began. He said, you have a long-standing relationship with Tinubu. Do you know he is a Nigerian citizen by birth? And the witness replied, yes. Then the LP counsel proceeded. He said, in your witness statement, in page 136, paragraph 56, you said you will rely on reports from local and international observers. Then the witness replied, yes. LP counsel, Livy Ozoku, quickly seized the opportunity to tender the EU report on the election, which discredited the election talked about the whole violence and the irregularities that took place. And as he was about to tender it, APC, INEC, and Tinubu's lawyers began to object. And Tinubu's lawyer stood up and said, this report is already before the court. And then the judge had to shut him up to correct him. He said it was during PDP's case, Atiku's case, that it was tendered, that this is Peter Obi's case. Can you see the level of confusion? This is a senior advocate of Nigeria 
But because you they follow like like, look at how they have been corrected in court like people will just they learn work. Then the LP council went ahead to read the part of the EU report that talked about the blood result sheets. That's the part that finished INEC pata pata. Then when he was done with that, he now moved to the ECOWAS report. <laughs> Tinubu Swifter said he relied on international and local observers. And so he tendered the ECOWAS report. Livy Ozoku, the LP son, picked that same ECOWAS report, opened to a certain page and gave it to him. He said, witness, read to the court. Now, when Tinubu's witness began reading, oh, the page talked about several cases of violence, killings, thuggery, all the notorious acts during the election, including the killing of Labour Party's senatorial candidates in Enugu State. You will not believe that when Tinubu's witness finished reading, he said he disagrees with ECOWAS report. Ah, ah, now everybody for court shock. They say, Oga, not be you bring the ECOWAS report. Are you not the one that tendered it as evidence? Now you are disagreeing with it. Hey, what kind of confusion is this? Does it mean you didn't even read it before you brought <laughs> Oh, then the LP council leave Ozoku said, you disagree with an evidence that you tendered? He said, well, no problem. Then he went ahead. He said, do you have license to study law in the state of Illinois? Then Tinubu's witness answered, I have license to practice federal law in the United States. Now to the big question. Livy Ozoku, the LP counsel, now brought up the question of Tinubu's drug case. He said, the forfeiture of $460,000, the court made an order that the money represents proceeds of narcotics trafficking. Is that true? Oh, million dollar question. Tinubu's witness could not answer yes or no. He said it was a civil forfeiture, not a criminal forfeiture. Then the LP counsel said, answer my question. At this point, the presiding judge had to step in. He said, answer him, yes or no. The $460,000 that was forfeited by Tinubu was the money made from the sale of drugs, from narcotics trafficking, yes or no? That was the question that Livio Zwaku asked Tinubu's witness. Oh, out of shame, out of humiliation, out of depression, Tinubu's witness answered, yes. Oh, he said, but it was not criminal for future. It was civil for future. He wanted to begin to explain. Presiding judge said, Oga, no, stop that. You are a witness here. Your own is to answer question. You are not an attorney. Now we know what thing we go do. Nobody you go tell us. <laughs> and at this point, everybody who was on the side of Tinubu in court became weak, including the lawyers. I neck lawyers, everybody weak. This is Tinubu's witness now. Somebody who is supposed to come to court and defend him and speak well of him. Somebody who is supposed to give him an edge in the case. Number one. He brought an ECOWAS report. And that report, Livy Ozwaku went to the part that discredited the election totally. And the witness did not even see it. Then he now began to disagree with the evidence that he brought to court. Secondly, Tinubu's witness ended up doing Peter Obi a favor by confirming that the $460,000 that Tinubu forfeited was from the proceeds of drug narcotics trafficking this is an issue where they don't they contend says where they never know the truth about the issue but his own witness we suppose can't defend them for court now ended up giving him up when you come to lie these are the kind of things that will happen lies are not easy to defend and after tinubu's witness senator michael was thoroughly schooled by Livy ozoku son of the labor party Tinubu's counsel had to close their case. They said, no more witness. And they shamefully closed their case, just as INEC shamefully closed theirs. And I'm telling you, obedience, that the defenses of INEC and Tinubu have ended up making 
Peter Obi's case stronger because their defenses are as weak as weak can be. All eyes on the judiciary. We no go stop to the talker until judiciary go pass judgment and we see say they don't do the right thing. Gentlemen, good day, my brothers and sisters. My mommies and my dad is over there. Is your sister again, your doctor, your friend, your girl, anointed lady TV? Please, if today is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, please do subscribe for me. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video, you will be notified. So in this my channel, I will be bringing up many things to you in which you will benefit from it. I do talk show, I do news, anything you want to talk about, I am into it. Please subscribe, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video or each time I'm on live on YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you very much for always being there for me. Please do subscribe for me and as you do so, God will richly bless you and meet your heart desire. Thank you very much. I love you all.